Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you how I care for this beautiful Hoya. It's a Hoya Hindu rope, also known as Hoya Compacta. I've been growing these types of plants for about two and a half years, so I would say that I have had a good share of experience growing this type of plant. I have killed a few along the way, unfortunately, but that just helps you learn and you learn from your past plants that ended up dying. So that's no big deal if you do kill plants along the way. It's just a part of the learning process. If you have had trouble growing this plant, these tips might be useful to you. Many people love this plant because it kind of looks like tortellini, like with the twists and turns of the leaves. But then there's another group of people that think this plant is super creepy and it just, they really don't like the look of it. I personally think it's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, if you are interested in learning how I care for this, just keep on watching and I'll get into my tips. So the first thing I want to discuss is light. Hoya Hindu Rope really love bright indirect light if you're keeping them inside or outside. For me personally, I keep my Hoya Hindu Rope in my eastern window so it gets morning sun. And I've also heard of some people keeping their Hoya near their western window. I would be weary of leaving it near my southern window if you have the variegated version because you don't want the leaves to burn from the sun. But I have heard of people with the solid green Hoya Hindu Rope giving their um, plant a little more light because it can handle it. So you really have to kind of play around with the location of your plants if you're new to that plant. Kind of feel out where your plant is thriving and if it's not doing so well in one location you might want to switch it to a different type of light because it will vary based on where you live and how strong the sun is where you live. If you want to keep your Hoya Hindu rope outside, I would recommend keeping it in a shaded area where it's getting bright indirect light throughout the day. So for me, I have an umbrella and I just keep that up all summer and I put my plants under it so that they're shaded from the hot sun and they're not getting um, hit with the sun rays. They're just getting that bright indirect light. So I would recommend using an umbrella or if you have a covered patio, keep it under the covered patio. I have made the mistake of leaving it out in the direct sun and the leaves totally burnt. So I would not recommend doing that. It's really sad to burn your plant to death. It's just not good. The next thing I want to talk about is watering. So I let my plants dry out completely. So if you're new to plants, there's a few ways you can check the soil. You can either stick your finger about two to three inches into the soil and feel for moisture. If it's bone dry, you're good to water it. You can also use a moisture meter. I have this one from Amazon. It just tells you if the plant is dry or moist or somewhere in between. Usually if I'm using the moisture meter, I also will stick my finger in just to double check but this has worked out really well for me. I know some people haven't had a lot of luck with the moisture meter, so it might just depend on your personal preference. The type of soil I like to use is just my all-purpose Hoya soil that I mix myself. I combine succulent soil with perlite or pumice and then also orchid bark, and I did make a video on how I make that mixture, so I'll link that down below if you're interested, and also I'll write it in the description of this video if you want to make that yourself. When it comes to fertilizing, I only fertilize during the active growing season, and I fertilize my Hoya one time per month, and I like to use a Spoma Organic House Plant Fertilizer. It's just a liquid fertilizer, and you add it to a one gallon container, and most of my Hoya have really loved that. I've had no issues, um, and they just really seem to thrive when I fertilize them. And if you're new to plants, fertilizing is very important for your house plants because when plants are in nature, there are leaves and different organic materials that are breaking down. And as they break down, they're adding nutrients to the soil. And if you have house plants, there's no way of nutrients to be replenished. So it really is important to fertilize your plants. Don't let it intimidate you. It really is very simple. And that's why I love the Espoma organic fertilizer because they make it super simple. When it comes to repot, your Hindu rope, I would recommend only doing it during the active growing season. I made the mistake of repotting Hindu rope during last winter, and I did lose some of the vines of the plant, which was really unfortunate, so I would recommend waiting until it's the growing season. When it comes to pests, you'll definitely want to watch out for mealybug because mealybug really love this type of plant because they're able to hide in all the little crevices. And it's super hard to get rid of mealybug if you get it on your Hoya Hindu rope. If you find one of these plants at the store, really give it a thorough inspection. And if you notice any white cottony mealybug, 
I would not purchase it because it's really difficult to get rid of them on this type of plant. The last thing I wanted to discuss were the Hindu rope blooms. So I've only been able to get mine to bloom for me when I kept it outside. I have known other people online that have had success um, getting theirs to bloom inside, but personally I haven't experienced that. When I was growing mine outside, it, the blooms were so beautiful, they were a pink color, and the scent really reminded me of ramen noodles, <laughs> and um, that was very surprising. But I have heard other people say that the blooms smell like chocolate, and that sounds great if that's what happens to you, but mine definitely were more of like a savory scent. And I do plan on making a video on how to encourage your Hoya to bloom, so if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below because I will film that for you. I just wanted to also show you this plant because it's a lot bigger than my small one. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm sure many of you have seen this if you've watched my videos before. I've definitely features, featured it in my houseplant tours. It has grown super long, like this is the longest tendril. And for some reason, like, I'm pretty sure most of these vines, when I first purchased it, were around the same size. And for some reason, this vine in particular grew like the longest and it just kept growing. So I don't know why it's growing so much faster than the other, other vines, but they're all doing super well. And this is the Hoya that I keep in my Eastern window. And I'm not gonna repot it for maybe another year or two because they a lot of Hoyas do enjoy having a smaller pot. They don't want a really big pot. Um, comparative to the root system. So definitely make sure when you repot your Hoya, you don't put it in like a huge pot. You just want to give it a, an inch or two extra space compared to the root system that it can grow into. But anyway guys, I'm very interested to know if any of you don't like the Hoya Hindu rope because I have heard other people say that it looks kind of creepy to them or maybe it reminds them of like tentacles on like an octopus. I don't know. I definitely can see that it looks a little bit weird, but I think it is a beautiful plant. But I am curious to know what you guys think about it, and if you like this plant, if you have one in your collection, please let me know. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. Anyway, anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you at my next video. Bye! Connie, say hi! Hey, cutie! You're such a good girl. Hello, Koki. Hi, Juki. And there's Andre, my parents' uh, rescue dog from Jamaica. And Chloe, there's Clo Clo. Kirsten, Kirsten Stewart. Say hello. Chloe's feeling a lot better. I really do appreciate everyone that's reached out and asked how she's doing. If you didn't know, she did have pneumonia. Or she actually still has it. She's had it for three and a half weeks. So we're gonna get a checkup probably this week to make sure she's all better. She's a good girl. Chloe, your little cinnamon bun, you look so cute. So cozy.